Mojang has released the first snapshots and betas of the year, bringing a ton of new bug fixes along with some major changes to the armadillo, wolf armor, and the breeze. We even have a massive change to the spawn chunks of Java Edition, so let's hop into it. The first big change we have is to the armadillo. They've moved around the head and the ears and the eyes a little bit. As you can see, the new Java texture is on the left and the previous bedrock texture is on the right. As you can see, looking at it from the side is quite a bit better. The eyes are now on the side of the head which is a bit more Minecrafty feeling. There's also been some very slight changes to the wolf armor texture. The new texture is on the left here. As you can see, it's got slightly different head positioning and also the little feet have been added and the previous texture is on the right. The collar texture has also been slightly changed on dogs when they are wearing a wolf armor. So it should look a little bit better now. As you can see, this is the new texture here and this is the previous bedrock edition texture. There isn't much change here, but you'll notice that the bedrock one is a solid color, whereas on Java, it's got this slight fade to it, which looks really nice. There's also been some really, really big changes to the spawn chunks on Java Edition. Now, if you don't know what the spawn chunks are, a real quick overview. Basically, wherever your world spawn is, so imagine that this red block is your world spawn, the chunk that is surrounding you is going to be always loaded and then the chunks surrounding that are also going to be always loaded so you can put farms here you can put other contraptions here and they're always going to be running regardless of if there are players around now the spawn chunks on java edition have actually been reduced by 98 percent in size which is actually going to be a massive performance increase to everyone who plays java edition so right now it's going to be a 48 by 48 area so if we just pick ourselves a random chunk and say that this chunk is where our spawn point is. This chunk is always going to be loaded, and then one chunk in every direction and a square is also going to be loaded. If you don't like the reduction in size, that's perfectly fine because now you can change it and adjust it to be whatever size you want using spawn chunk radius, and that is a great thing. So you can set it back to the regular size if you already have things there, but of course that is going to come with a performance cost. With such a huge increase to performance, I think that it might be time for Bedrock Edition to finally get the spawn chunks with this little toggle where you can adjust the size. That's all the news for Java Edition this week, but we've also got some brand new Bedrock betas that introduce a lot of new bug fixes and other great things. Mojang has also changed the breeze. Now you can no longer attack these guys for projectiles. As you can see, they just launch your projectiles back at you. And if it's a bow or a trident, then they send those projectiles back with some ferocity. I mean, they just absolutely reject those things. Now, now this doesn't apply to the ender pearls, it doesn't apply to fishing rods, and it also doesn't apply to firework crossbows, but on Bedrock Edition, these just fly through entities, so it doesn't make sense for them to work anyway. And yep, you can actually get hit by your own projectiles when it's bounced off the breeze, it's just fairly unlikely, so watch out. So this applies to other entities that shoot projectiles as well. As you can see, snow golems are having their projectiles bounce right back off of them. And the breeze doesn't actually attack snow golems anymore, it would seem. Because it's not taking any damage from the golem. Now my first thought with this is, can we make a perpetual motion machine? Because if it's bouncing off of there with, you know, infinity momentum, surely we can get it to bounce between two guys infinitely. Now I've tried a couple different setups and it doesn't really appear to work. However, there are some issues here. So if we uh, drop some arrows on top of these guys, uh, you'll notice that it just breaks, just breaks the game. Very loud indeed. And it's not just arrows. This happens with like all projectiles. So as you can see, snowballs can just hang there. Incredibly loud and annoying. Wow. You're welcome. I bet you didn't think you were gonna hear that today. I might be crazy, but I'm pretty sure the new Breeze mob is the perfect chicken farm. Let me explain. How many eggs do you think it took me to get all these baby chickens? I'll give you a hint, it was less than three stacks. For some reason, whenever you throw an egg at a Breeze, it has a 100% chance of hatching into a baby chicken. So you get one or more chickens from every single egg. As you can see, it's kind of stupid. And now if we throw some eggs regularly, as you can see, they barely hatch at all. It's the regular rate you're not really going to get that many. But for some reason, if you throw it at a breeze and you let it sit there for a second, it will actually hatch into a chicken, guaranteed. This is the most Bedrock Edition feature I've ever seen. Nobody tell Green, he might just switch to Bedrock Edition. Now, for some reason, dispensers don't actually hit these guys at all. As you can see, the projectiles just go right through them and they don't affect them. And they also don't get repelled by the breezes. So maybe that's a bug, maybe that's intentional. There are dispensers full of stuff and side of the trial chambers, of course. 
Also, they do not throw back potions. I think this is a good opportunity to add in a unique feature where they accept incoming potions that are beneficial, but reject potions that are harmful, like harming or poison. Because as you can see, they just accept all incoming potions right now, even if they're detrimental. There's been a massive fix to Wither Roses. They're now four times as deadly. Previously, they would only do damage every two seconds, but now they do damage every half a second, and it is absolutely brutal. This makes these things way more useful for mob farms and mob grinders now. As you can see, mobs in there just take constant damage and it is way, way faster at killing them. There's still the bug where zombie pigmen can spawn inside of wither roses. We have workarounds for this, but with this bug, if your farm doesn't have that workaround, it's not going to affect your rates as much anymore. This is classic bedrock edition, but if you made a glistening melon, that would give you the achievement for you need a mint, which is the same achievement that is gathering dragons dragon's breath from the ender dragon and you know what that's just very bedrock edition isn't it this little glitch will still be in the game for a few more weeks so if you want that achievement i guess just go make some glistening melon there's also been a mild fix to fishing experience won't be scattered as much anymore so previously it would be off to the sides and it would kind of get all over the place but that no longer happens you probably notice this more when killing mobs previously the scattering of experience would be a little bit wild and you might have even seen this in your mob farms but this should be a little bit more condensed now you might have also noticed that experience orbs were pushing around mobs and kind of being wild but that'll no longer happen xp orbs are back to just flowing directly through entities which is exactly how it should be this should make everything run a little bit smoother there's been a great bug fix for realms so you'll no longer get stuck on an infinite loading screen when trying to join your realm this was affecting a lot of players but it should no longer happen we've had yet another mob being removed from a peaceful difficulty so zoglins will now despawn on peaceful as you can see previously these guys would just become passive and wouldn't hurt you this follows recent changes where vindicators and evokers etc were also removed from peaceful mode we've had a nice little bug fix to dark oak trees and acacia trees so now the branches of them will no longer overwrite blocks that they shouldn't this should help with certain types of tree farms i really did not expect to see any fixes with a tree these usually get very little attention in Minecraft, but hey, while we're on the topic, how about fixing the cherry leaf bug where nothing grows underneath cherry leaves? Would be really nice. We have some more changes to the breeze as well. These guys can now jump out of water and pathfind in it just fine. And they're also going to be avoiding trapdoors when pathfinding now. Now, I'm curious about this one because we're supposed to be using trapdoors to trick mobs pathfinding and make them fall down. But now these guys avoid trapdoors. They can still dash over them and jump over them. Very curious why they made this change. I'm guessing it would be to fix some other bug that they had with trapdoors. But in general, I feel like mobs should be able to pathfind and even want to pathfind over trapdoors. That way we can use them in mob farms like we're supposed to. They've also fixed the bug with the random piston teleportation glitch that was happening oftentimes in stone or cobblestone generators. This would just randomly teleport you while you're in the middle of using your farms and it was absolutely a menace. So now it's still going to be around for a couple more weeks, but we do know that a fix is on the way. We got even more enchanted book shenanigans. There was a bug where fortune books would increase the amount of drops from things that you mine, like, you know, potatoes or carrots, even melons, nether warts. It would even work on glowstone and gravel for getting more flint. And it also worked on, you know, the two tall flowers as well. Yet another silly bug, but I'm not surprised seeing as how fire aspect books also lit things on fire. Since the there's now two types of scoot in the game. They've renamed the regular scoot that you get from turtles to a turtle scoot, so it's not going to be confused with the armadillo scoot. Previously, you could have two or more villagers linked to the same bed, and then they would actually all sleep in the same bed, so you could have multiple villagers in one spot, but that has now been fixed, so only one villager at a time will link to a bed, as is normal. Another sneaky bug with villagers, these guys will always have the correct skin now, so if it's a farm Farmer villager it's always going to have the farmer texture this is to fix the bug where they had like a default skin but they still had a profession which was very confusing they've also fixed the years old bug where if you killed a horse that was using a horse armor it would drop two horse armors and essentially duplicate them but as you can see that's no longer the case they only drop one horse armor now 
And don't worry, the horse is fine. It's it's Im immortal. Now, this no longer happens to dogs either. As you can see, they only drop a one dog armor. And uh, yeah, those, those dogs weren't immortal. Sorry. The bug fix that we've all been waiting for regarding trail ruins should finally be here now. The top of them should finally be connected to the bottom of the structure. Rejoice for Mojang has finally fixed the bug. Look at that. The top of the structure is connected to the bottom of the structure like it should have been when the structure released. Amazing. Okay, it, it's finally here, guys. We can all sleep easy now. We also have a very interesting update to the editor mode. This is Minecraft Bedrock's built-in world edit thingy that they're working on they added a new feature where you can generate a void world so this is just a super flat world that is all air blocks so it's literally just air absolutely everywhere and this is very interesting so i think that this could be maybe paving the way for custom super flats on bedrock edition they clearly have the technology to at least I, I mean delete all the blocks at least so I don't know I just thought it was interesting and you should know about it if you enjoyed this Minecraft news video then consider subscribing to help us reach 600,000 thank you so much for watching and then there was silence